you down, be sour. Clap for your world famous two time champs and feel the power. Woo! OGK time. Yes, it is. Today, we head on over to Western PA to face the Wildcats, the undefeated number one Wildcats. Well, y'all, they came to our house last year and they upset us when we were number one in our house. They beat us 32 to 31. We don't forget that. We also don't forget the fact that we are two and four this year. We're not having the greatest year and we need this game. When you trap a rat, when you put him into a corner, when you put the pressure on that true character of that person, of that rat, is truly shown. Today, you'll see what we are really about. The end. The end. So, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, are you ready? Felt so good to get there. Felt so good to see that it was a beautiful stadium. It was a beautiful day. Finally, no rain. First game of the year without any rain. And it was the first game of the year with all this excitement. Playing the number one team. They got smoke. They got announcers. They got former NFL players. This is the matchup. Now, are you really ready? Well, <laughs> that first drive, we showed that we weren't ready out the gate and they were plain and simple safety on the opening drive not a good way to show ohio pride not a good way to show ogk pride and then our defense let up this touchdown touchdown wpa our heads are spinning what in the world is going on we're already in a hole and has the game even started yet but now justin mclean on the next drive getting out of that pocket, finding a man, doing what he does best, but sometimes that pressure gets the best of you and you throw past just a little bit too far and it just right went into the opening hands of WPA. They ran out of the end zone though. And then that very next play, uh-uh, you can't do that. Safety, safety, safety. OGK is not dead, we are not down. We are not out. We can do this. That's the belief. That's the thought process. Ugh. Turnover. This was setting the pace for the rest of the day. This turnover bug from both teams. Literally, back and forth. Defense, defense, defense. But who would actually capitalize on anything? That's the thing. Did I mention there was defense? Did I mention there was turnovers? Turnover, WPA. It was back and forth all day like this it really just came down to who actually was gonna score well you know what this little cat back there that returned this ball he said you know what I got this y'all I'm gonna score he took it all the way to the house and he yes he could go all the way he did go all the way WPA is what's up and they proved themselves they proved themselves with their defense stripping the ball from my man house right here trying to scoop and score. We weren't having that, but the very next play, they's like, you know what? I'm just gonna throw it up to my man that's six foot six, almost touching Jesus, he's so tall. Touchdown, WPA. Now our heads are truly spinning. Um, just a few plays later, because I'm pretty sure we went three and out, did it again. This is just ridiculous, but we did rally. Our man Chris was injured, and we did rally behind him. And right before the second half, we threw it to Benji, and Benji got in that end zone, got the touchdown. 30-2, to two, no longer. 
because the very next thing that happened was just miraculous. I don't know what this kick was besides a miracle, angels on the gridiron, but we got the ball back, we got that momentum, and just a few plays later, McLean rolls out, does his best Joe Montana impression, Benji goes up there, catches that ball, comes down with it, touchdown Knights, we are in this, we are so live right now, it's, oh my goodness, it was great, Mr. Lewis to you sir, getting that two point conversion, and you know what, we have energy, we have life, we got defense, Rico getting back there for the sack, one of his 16 tackles in the game, and Mr. Lewis says hello, that's our little Wes Welker cat, always getting in the seams, catching those balls, and you know what, their defense caught balls too, my goodness, all the way down, inside the 45 yard line of our, oh, another turnover, but guess what, remember the thing I said about turnovers and turnovers, more turnovers, more fumbles, Western PA couldn't hold on to that ball to save their life when it comes in the running game, not that we could, but my gosh, every play, it was back and forth like this, Rico finding that quarterback because he's a beast like that, thankfully we have him as middle linebacker. Did I mention thankfully for Rico because he just did it again? We had another chance. And you know what they said? No. Nah. <laughs> they said not today. And they got into that end zone. That man's head's in the way. Touchdown WPA. This game's over. We tried. This was our last ditch effort. But they were too big, too strong, too fast. They actually capitalized on some of their turnovers. The final score, 37 to 16. Uh, 37 to 16. Looking at the scoreboard, it's disgusting. But you would not realize how big of a fight that game actually was. Ah! <laughs> Derek hurt his shoulder. Chris broke his leg. That was a crazy game. A, 16 whoa, 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 whoa. 16 Team guard skin. Oh my god. That man had a good game. Rico was a beast. They have some monsters on that team. Much respect to WPA. There was questionable calls, questionable plays. I don't know what happened on my man's Chris leg when he broke it, but pray for my boy Chris. He laid it all on the line and I mean he's in the hospital right now. So definitely take a moment for him. But WPA is legit. We got some problems to work out, but I'm randomly encouraged by our team's effort because we did not give up. We caused turnovers and there's reason to have hope for OGK despite a two and five record. I promise you, we're not done. Anyways, Crazy like game. and subscribe. Crazy game. Crazy game. Crazy game. Crazy game. This is woo it. It's just